Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about the main difference between power transformer and distribution transformer. So let's start the video without any delay. Power generated at the generating stations need to be transmitted over a long distance. In order to reduce ice care or losses, voltage is stepped up during the transmission of power by using a step up transformers. So during the transmission of power, voltage is stepped up in order to reduce I scare R losses. The transformers used in stepping up or stepping down the voltage level in the transmission network are known as power transformers. There are distribution transformers on the other hand are used between local substation and consumer for distribution of electric power at a lower voltage. It converts the high voltage electric power to a normal voltage navel suitable for domestic and industrial purposes. So the transformers used in the transmission network for stepping up or stepping down the voltage navel depending on the requirement are called the power transformers. There are distribution transformers converts the high electric power to a lower voltage navel which is suitable for domestic and industrial purposes. This is the basic difference between power transformer and distribution transformers. Now let's discuss the other various differences of power transformer and distribution transformer in detail. The first point which we are going to discuss is the voltage difference. Power transformers used in the transmission network are generally of a 33 kV and higher voltages. The transformers are rated above 200 MV ampere. On the other hand, distribution transformers are operated at a less voltage generally below 33 kV and they are rated less than 200 MV ampere. So this is the voltage difference in the power and a distribution transformer. The next point which we are going to talk about is the insulation level. The bindings of power transformers are provided with a high insulation since they have to handle a high voltages. So as we have discussed earlier that power transformers are used for a higher voltages. So due to that reason, bindings of a power transformers are provided with high insulation. Whereas distribution transformers on the other hand have a low insulation level as per the low power rating. So the distribution transformers have a low insulation level as compared to the power transformers. The sizes of a both Transformers are also quite different. The power transformers are much larger in size as compared to the distribution transformers. So the size of a power transformers are also much larger. Node fluctuations. Distribution transformers are connected directly to the node. Since node at the consumer side is not constant, due to which these transformers experience a high node fluctuations. So as we know that the demand of node at the consumer side is not always constant. It is very high at some times and sometimes it is very low. So due to that reason, distribution transformers experience a high node fluctuations. On the other hand, the voltage level of a transmission line is our most constant and power transformers doesn't face a node fluctuations. Actually, as we know that power transformers are not directly connected to the consumer. So due to that reason, voltage level of a transmission line is almost constant. So they doesn't face a node fluctuations. The next point which we are going to discuss is the core material. Power transformers handle a large voltage. So they are designed to utilize the core to its maximum value. 
and score of the power transformer is made up of crgo which is controlled grain oriented silicon steel material so that they can work close to the saturation point on the other hand in the case of a distribution transformer amorphous crgo core material is used since they have a no eddy current and a hysteresis losses one thing to be noted here that the amorphous core material is not used in a large transformer like a power transformer due to their mechanical weakness and though they have a no eddy current and a hysteresis losses so due to that reason they are only used in distribution transformers one more basic difference between power and distribution transformer is the maximum efficiency power transformers are used to transfer the whole power that is being generated at the generating stations so they are designed to achieve a maximum efficiency at a rated 100% load on the other hand if we talk about the distribution transformers they doesn't operate at a full load all the time since their load depend on the distribution demand and due to unknown distribution of a load these transformers are designed to achieve a maximum efficiency at 60 to 70% of the rated load so this is one more difference between these transformers that power transformers achieve a maximum efficiency at a rated 100% load whereas distribution transformers have their maximum efficiency at 60 to 70% of the rated load now as we know that the maximum efficiency in a transformer is achieved when the iron losses becomes equal to the copper losses so in the case of a power transformer iron loss is equal to copper loss when it is operating at a full rated 100% load as we discussed earlier whereas in the case of a distribution transformer iron loss is becomes equal to the copper loss is at 60 to 70% of the rated load since they have they, uh, since they are designed to achieve their maximum efficiency at 60 to 70% of the rated load moving on the next point which we are going to discuss is the cooling mechanism power transformers are larger in size due to their large heavy sizes cooling fans are also being provided along with the radiator for a fast cooling here you can see this is the power transformer and you can see that the cooling fans are also being provided along with the radiator for the fast cooling on the other hand distribution transformers are much smaller in size and they also handle a small voltages they work for a, at a lower voltages due to which radiators are sufficient for their cooling so this is one more difference that in the case of a power transformer you might see in fans cooling fans along with the radiator for a fast cooling whereas in the case of a distribution transformer radiators are in for the cooling purposes nosis this is also one more basic difference between the power and the distribution transformer power transformer operates at a full load all the time due to which both copper nosis and iron nosis are constant in the transformer since power transformers are operated at a full load hence they are designed in such a way to keep the copper losses minimum so as the power transformers always operates at a full load so it is on wave desirable to keep the copper losses minimum in the case of these large transformers distribution transformers on the other hand they don't operate at full load on the time iron losses in distribution transformer remain same on the time for any node or even at a no node on the other hand copper losses depends on the load cycle which is vary from time to time so 
in the case of a distribution transformer steps are being taken to minimize the iron losses because they remain same at all the time so it is desirable to minimize these losses the next point which we are going to talk about is the tap changer power transformers are connected with an on load tap changer in the case of on load tap changer output voltage of power transformer can be controlled without isolating the transformer from the supply so as we know that one advantage of a transformer is that the output voltage can be adjusted with the help of a tap changer in the case of a power transformer the output voltage can be controlled with the help of a on load tap changer without isolating the transformer from the supply however on the other hand if we talk about the distribution transformers they are fitted with de-energized tap changer which can alter the voltage only when the transformer is de-energized so in the case of a distribution transformers the transformer need to be cut off from the supply which is actually the off load condition as they are fitted with de-energized tap changer which can adjust the voltage only when the transformer is de-energized the next point and the last point is the connections delta delta connections or star delta connections are used in power transformers delta delta type connections are preferred in transformers which are used for transmission purposes since in that case neutral is not required so as we know that during the transmission no node is connected so we do not need a neutral in that case so due to that reason delta delta type connections are mostly found in power transformers distribution transformers on the other hand has on wave delta star connections so in the case of a distribution transformers delta star connections are used and they have a neutral in that case this is the comparison of both power and the distribution transformers in the tabular form these are all the points which we have discussed earlier in the video so you can easily understand that Moreover if you want to read the article of a power and distribution transformer i will provide you the link in the description that's all hope this video will help you thanks for watching if you like the video please subscribe the channel thanks